Jim Cook, Utility Service Agency, talking about these power design cabinets. I'm here on Tar Hill, North Carolina, where we're looking at a, a four county POD. And they recently installed this uh, battery enclosure from Power Design. Uh, what it's got is the whole gist of this is to have uh, the batteries in an air conditioned environment to extend the life. What, uh, there were recent changes, and let's just kind of show. Uh, this is second generation. It's got the, the doors are glassed in, and it's got the fiber. Uh, it's got a insulation board instead. They also increased the height because it, uh, for some people they were hitting their heads up here. Also had a few touches where we rounded out some of the sharp points uh, that were there before. Um, uh, something that the construction guys gave feedback uh, rather than. Because the enclosure can be taken off entirely, uh, they wanted us to be an easy plug type thing for uh, connecting the lights and, and, the, and the fiberglass enclosure back to the frame. So that's what you have there. What about uh, grounding? Uh, grounding, uh, you can see it. Uh, so ground grid, equal potential zone. Side. You can see it well. It's uh, 95 degrees out here today. The batteries are cold. You can feel the air conditioning. So we're in good shape. Freestanding steel rack that is mounted and bolted to the concrete pad. AC unit. One other thing, this once again is the freestanding galvanized steel frame, uh, and it's got a, a marine grade plywood that, with which you attach your disconnect switches and your AC panel, DC panel, those type things. Uh, on this next generation, they will have threaded bolts that are set up on the inside that you can attach your um, charger, obviously on the other side, but it would be easier for the install in the field. Otherwise, yeah, you're looking at it.